people, how are you? This is Fiona, Virgin Media, my young popper. Another night, and I'm actually waiting for Angel Channel 888 that joined me right now. So she may probably be coming anytime soon. But um, before Angel Channel 888 come uh, to the show of Avid, um, I want to say that uh, thank you so much for all beautiful messages and um, emails, flowers, and everything that you guys sent to me in the past couple uh, 10 days. Um, and uh, because uh, three miracles had happened, uh, the one was a cancer patient, uh, which was completely cure about the cancer, so I'm very happy for him and his family. And um, the, the latest person um, that we had, and I had a conversation with a couple of those people around, uh, he's still not good, and we're still helping him, and he's still uh, praying for him. So, and the number three was um, that uh, the mother who lost his child in the past of couple 25 years, and she thought that the daughter was died almost, uh, or died almost uh, in back in um, like almost 25 to 23 years ago. Um, kind of like completely gone and it would never come and it was just like as crazy as you could imagine so however um, she called me almost two months ago and um, asked me Fiona do you think that there is any hope that I can find my daughter um, my feeling was like yes she's alive and I feel that she's in another country and what happened um, I kind of like with help of my Pentagon, I was surprised that I see that it comes directly from the com from the country that come that uh, the father came. So it sounds like the father tried to um, hide the daughter almost in 23, 24 years without even telling the mom that where they are and what they are doing. So when I found out about the country and I found out about uh, like how many people was involved, the name that come through uh, that Pentagon technique, and which I was happy and I'm thankful for universe and everything. So what we did, we um, letting mom and daughter meet each other again uh, almost after 23 years. So it was just fantastic. So um, it was a relief. Um, it was, um, I was in terms. And um, I'm kind of like, um, I didn't know what to do at the moment that they sent me the video and tell me and show me that because of you, I have my daughter back because of you. Um, I have a relief and I know for now on what to do with my daughter and uh, the blessings that come to our life. So we sending also the same blessing to this family and hopefully mother and daughter is going to join each other and having fun in every single area of what they can and can them with. Okay. So I sound like an Andrew channel is still not coming because I still sitting here and not having her back in the studio. So let's see what's happening around. So let me just check if we have any callers right now. Do we have any callers? I'm just trying to ask my producers because we had some technic or technical issues in the past a couple 10 minutes. Okay, I can see it right now. Teresa from Alabama. Hello, Teresa. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much, sweetie. And I feel good, as I told you. Uh, we had a couple of miracles in the past of two weeks, uh, less than two weeks, almost 10 days. So I'm very happy for their family. I'm very happy uh, for us that we could pray and bring miracles to families who really want miracle happen to them. So now back to you, Teresa. I would love to have your date of birth, my love, and then tell me what I can do for you and what you have in your beautiful mind. Go ahead, please. Okay. It's June 10th, 1966. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was just wondering um, what you see financially. I have something that can go either way that's pretty big. And I'm just wondering what you see and um, with my health and maybe love, just whatever okay. you're, you're feeling. 
Okay, um, the first things that come to my mind directly when I try to open your Pentagon is about the chunk of money. Um, it's kind of like um, a money that coming that you knew that is going to come, but um, it was a lot of movement, waiting situation, not knowing exactly if it's going to be or count on this or not. So it's absolutely going to come in 2018. So what I feel and sense that also it's going, it's going to be almost around September. So we're talking about a month of September and October 2018. And also before July 27, as I can see in your Pentagon, it's telling me that you are receiving a good news, which is going to make you to feel extremely happy and celebrate, which I can see is touching money, prosperity, and wealth. So that is very good. So whatever you are waiting for, if it's any lawsuit of settlement, if there's anything that you want to do, if anything that you are into, whatever you are thinking and really doing right now at the moment, I feel that you are exactly the place that you have to. So answer from the Pentagon is yes. And number two, when it comes to your love life, I can see some change and challenge, which is not the bad things. It's actually good things. I see the couple of things that are coming around you uh, very smoothly and nicely. But it's all happening together when that money comes. So it sounds like if something has hand to hand with a lot of things that are going in the past a couple, eight months, and everything will settle down and making you to feel extremely connected to your soul and found the peace and happiness that you really wanted in the past of eight months. So when it comes to the love, I can see like now it's just like going up and down, but whatever is going to settle and just really going to come down and let you go to the place that you always wish and desire for, it's when it comes to that area, it would be almost August 4th, 2002. We got it. Okay. So when it comes to your health, um, there is a couple of things that you have to look. The first thing will says that you are you have too much stress, and there is a couple of panic attacks that go back and forth. You have to stop caring about what others think and feel, and communicating. All I wanted you to do is just like let it go. Okay. If people trying to go back and forth and then like not doing the way that you want, so try to drop them and move on okay stop bugging yourself stop bothering yourself which i can see that that type of the pain or emotional pain it cause you um bone pains and also neck pain and i can see uh, the digestion also the stomach is starting also to be all kind of telling you that stop bother yourself wow <laughs> wow i am having problems with everything that you said so far yeah so that's wow. why I want to um, really come down and relax with it. I know that it's very um, it's very hard sometimes because um, you have to prove and you want to prove and you want to uh, do something about something specific to make sure that everybody understands you. But remember that uh, we can't make everybody happy. And everyone think differently. So what I want you to do is just focus on yourself more than anybody else. And I wanted okay. you to look up in your tummy and then look, see what make your stomach to not feel good. What make your digestion is not really get you whatever you want to go. What is going on there? And from then things started to not develop the way that you want when it comes to health, your body. Everything that has to do with your body, every pain that you have right now, it comes from your mind. So if you hold everything down and just trying to shake it, then you are perfectly fine when it comes to other things. So what makes you to feel that bother, Teresa? Why you are just too hard on yourself, my love? What, I'm sorry, what? Why you are so hard on yourself? And then why you are thinking too much or gave yourself with your mind, actually, the way that you are thinking, the way that you stress out, you making your tummy, your bone, and every place is in your neck just 
been irritated and un- unhappy, those are a sign that telling you to come down and release. So what makes it feel that way? What is exactly your problem is when it comes to stress and when you get some panic attack or when you feel that something is not moving? So what is exactly the problem, Ms. Hunt? Well, <clears throat> I'm dealing with a daughter that's on drugs and she lost her children to her ex-husband and I'm trying to help her and she keeps reaching out and then pulling back, reaching out, pulling back. So it's it's really stressing me out and I'm just scared for my phone to ring and it be about her. I mean, I'm just, I'm really stressed out about that. So let me ask you this way. Uh, let's say that you stress out a lot. Let's say that you are worried about her, which is your right because you're a mother and uh, the mother responsibility is, is about to always worry about the children and uh, feel kind of concerned about and all this stuff. But is it, Absolutely. do you think it's going to help you? It's not going to help you. You're not going to go anywhere. So what's going to happen, you're going to get sick. And even if she wants or she asks for any help or any advice, then you are not even there because you have a tons of problems by your own and you can't even help her. So stressing out because some future is stressing out because you are worried and concerned about something that you don't even know is going to happen or not is just making you to be sick. And what happened if she one day wants to have you in their side and trying to have your help, then you are not even able to help because someone needs to taking care of you because of all the things that happened. So that's why I wanted you to stop because the first thing that you should know, divine is always trying to protect. I understand that um, she's in that place, she's not happy, she's, she's very unhappy, she's depressed, but it's temporary. So it's not something that's gonna stay forever. And sometimes we are in that time or we are in the position of time that we can't do anything and we see that our children, maybe our parents may, you know, going through a lot of pain, all you can do is pray. All you can do is try to break a lot of good news and then just make things to happen. That is exactly what you have to do. Just that, that's exactly what I've been doing. Yeah, that's all I can do at this point. Yeah, and never give her advice when she does not or she's not ready for it. Because when you calling and texting and it's just about the matter of like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. I wanted you to come down on this. This is not going to be good. Let her to come to you, ask you for advice. Let her to come to you and ask you for any help. So don't offer anything. Let her to feel lonely. Let her to feel that there is no one around. Let her to feel to be scared. If you focusing on helping her right now a lot about everything, she's going to get used to it. And now she's not going to really understand about the value of you as a mom and what she has to do to change this pattern. So that's why if you want her to get up and stand up by her own, just let her to come to you, ask you for help and advice. Okay. It's going to be more, much better. Good. Um, I just had one last question. Sure. Um, my mom passed away five years ago, and we didn't have a good relationship throughout the years until about five years before she passed away, and then we had an amazing relationship. But when she, she suddenly died... And I wasn't in the state. And for several weeks, I was having dreams. Or right as I was falling to sleep, I wasn't quite asleep yet. I would hear her whispering in my ear. And it it just repeated. And I I keep thinking she was trying to tell me something. Okay. uh, She's showing me about the shoes. Some specific shoes with some specific color. And also, she's showing me about some gift that come from your side and then stand for your side. It sounds like she's trying to tell you where those things or where that make you to feel more comfortable. 
What she means, she's, she's telling you right now indirectly that she's concerned and worried about you right at the moment. And she wanted you to take yourself to the restaurant or to the place that you and your mom, you just like had spending time with. So wherever you guys spend time at that moment, I want, she wanted you to go there. If it does any place, any restaurant, if it goes like, it's anywhere, anywhere that you guys be more connected. She wanted you to go back to the old memories to make you to feel confident and energetic again. So she's worried for you. She's concerned for you. That's why you dream about her all the time. It's also another sign to tell you to let go of anxiety, let go of sadness, let go of negative energies, and let go of all the, you know, pause that come to your mind and make you to feel scared of your near future or your daughter's near future. She's also sending blessings to your daughter and also showing me about also a backyard and making me to feel that she wants to plan something for you. And then someone who passed away is starting to plant or starting to do something with some tree. That means that you have a blessing from her which coming anytime soon, and you are going to feel connected to your or to her own soul. So she okay. wanted you to let you know that I'm here for you. She's again telling me about the shoes and then about the driving. I didn't know what she meant by that, but she's actually laughing, smiling, talking about driving at the long drive, you know, about some trip. She may actually telling you, she wants to refresh your memory. They lived in Montana. I live in Alabama, so I took many trips up there, and we used to go on long drives out up oh. in the mountains. Do you think that you can um, drive or drive to that place and, um, and at least uh, bring that memory to yourself or fresh the memory again? Oh, yes. That is exactly what I'll she wants sounds to be that she has something for you to tell or something to share or help you to understand about a couple things. That's why she would love to have you there. So if you can't do it through driving, that is exactly what she wanted to do because it sounds like if you are going to, you know, understand yourself better, calm down, relax, and remove your anxieties and unhappiness. So I wanted you to do that. Okay, thank you so much. You oh, hit. You are very you welcome, hit gorgeous. Home. Oh. <laughs> thank you, baby. For more information, baby, about me, so you can go to abbydadwise.com and also persianmedium.com. So back to the studio. I have just about less than five minutes. Hello, how are you doing? Selena. Hello, Selena. how are you doing? I'm doing very well, gorgeous. Sorry if you waited because I absolutely needed to help her and guide her. So um, give me your data, with my love, and uh, tell me what you have in your mind and what I can do for you. Go ahead, gorgeous. Um, my date of birth is 11 and um, I wanted to ask about career. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So your question is about the career, correct? Yes. Okay. There is Selena, there is two good news and there is two ways for you to change something. Something very good, something that it, you just never ever expected that just happening from those people, it's just going to happen anytime soon. Okay? So let's say in between actually the July 10 through actually the August 11, you are going to have and see the complete change and challenge which absolutely going to be the best things ever. So you do not need to be concerned, you do not need to be worried, and you absolutely rock in whatever you are going to do after September. So money-wise, you are yes. Career-wise and reputation-wise, there is no warning. That means yes. So you choose, you get into, you dreamed already, and you are going to achieve it. So whatever is telling me, it is absolutely on your face. You got it, honey? Yes, I do. Awesome. So don't be scared because I can see some feelings of doubt, uh, scary fears. Let go of all of it, okay? Let go. 
because there is absolutely no need for you to feel down specifically about wealth, money, and your career. For you, reputation, credibilities, and something that you would love to achieve is absolutely a number one. And I would say you have guardian angels, you have divine, you have universe that has your back. So never worry, never concern, and let go of anxiety. You got it, sweetie? What do I need to do to get myself to that point? Because I have been stuck where I'm at and moving forward for such a long time. Like, how do I get, I feel like I, I don't want to, I don't know if I'm not Just putting myself out up. there enough. You know, every time when some uh, unhappy feelings and thoughts come to you, distract yourself with something that you do love. If you do love to dance and go and see, like, friends, doing something that you kind of, it's all about to distract your mind, distract your subconscious mind. And I wanted you to follow my 21 days um, thought cleansing, which I wanted you to, if you can, sign up on avidadvice.com and then I will let you what to do to get rid of this sadness or how you can achieve after 21 days. So I have just 90 seconds, my love. I have to say goodbye to my audience. Thank you so much for being there for me. And this is Fiona of Persian Media, my Power, and you are guys who listen to Abig Advice show. For more information, go to abigadvice.com and persianmedium.com. Have a great one. Bye. Mm-hmm.